गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन सो वी आर बैक विथ टूडेज लाइफ दैट इज हैश टैग सुपर फिजियोज इज लाइफ सो टूडेज लाइफ गोना बी स्पेशल एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव स्पेशली फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स बट बट दैट डजन मीन दैट इट नॉट गोना बी इन्फॉर्मेटिव और हेल्पफुल फॉर अदर ईयर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर अ थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स और फोर्थ ईयर स्टूडेंट्स it gonna be important uh, as we gonna discuss about the anatomy uh, et electro which also helps in our further or like these are the important subjects of uh, of like in a physios life uh, so uh, let me join uh, the super physios for today uh, hina ma'am if you are in the live uh, kindly send me the request Hello sir how are you I'm good how are you I'm good sir so uh, let me uh, say something about today's life before yes. uh, introducing about the topic what is the life yes, yes. so when i was in the first year uh, i didn't knew like how to uh, do all my studies how to prepare or how to approach and that time hmm. i didn't even had any interaction with the seniors uh, yes. so as a even after being a bio student it was a drastic change for me to come to uh, like uh, start studying all the anatomy physiology the medical subjects so basically in today's live we gonna discuss how to ace uh, in first year physiotherapy hi hello, ma'am how are you hi hello so uh, let's start by actually telling our first year's journeys and let's go back to the time guys and that yeah. will really help the students so yeah. i i'll start with my story first year story mm-hmm. so i was this uh, nervous student new student in the physiotherapy and uh, it was totally like which world i have arrived in i don't know anything about this world so as i uh, got through my first year i was really nervous regarding all the subjects like anatomy physiology and mm-hmm. i was a really scared guy and uh, it was like if i'm even going to make it in the first year that was the case with me and it was all new to me but uh, one thing which uh, kept me going was that uh, i was interested in all these things that uh, what we are going to do in the future like physiotherapy kept me interested so i uh, kept on studying daily so like as uh, we said that in mp the year wise pattern is thoda different so our first yeah. year stretch for one and a half year so that was the case with me so i kept studying every day i didn't care about the result i was scared that maybe i will not get through the first year itself but when the result came out i my eyes popped out i topped the university wow <laughs> and that was like how is this even possible so i realized that whatever was i was going through anxiety and everything that will i be able to make it or not but i never stopped studying it had become a routine for 2 to 3 hours I, i used to study any subject be it anatomy electro exercise therapy psychology sociology we didn't had biochemistry or biomechanics in the first year as uh, they have in different states as a part of their cur- curriculum we just had uh, five subjects that is anatomy physiology exercise therapy electrotherapy and socio- sociology and psychology combined together Mm-hmm. So Hina I wanted to know about your first year journey. <laughs> first of all I was so scared seriously I was so scared when I entered in class I was a bit late. So it was like cold introduction part was done like flexion extension I was like what these guys are speaking I don't even know a single term. Uh, then uh, simply days passed like then I started knowing things about our field. like oh uh, i have to remember uh, i have to remember all these things a lot a lot like field is so vast uh, then yes. slowly uh, coping up with firstly anatomy definitely uh, thrice <laughs> we used to have a three three lectures of anatomy uh, and all so yeah anatomy physiology is so vast and every day we have to study like you have to cover anatomy Uh, you you can't simply say that uh, before one night i will cover the anatomy it's such a vast like uh, starting from the upper limb lower limb and such things so yeah it was tough in beginning but 
uh, I get it through the flow. You got with the flow, and you like get bang got bang on marks in your first year, right? Hmm. Yes. I was so happy <laughs> when uh, I saw my result with first class. I was like, oh, uh, I seriously imagined my first day, and the re- and the day when I got my result. I was like, oh, uh, seriously, like I did this, and it was so amazing journey. Uh, Mr. B. So, Neha, tell us about your journey now. Okay. so i was always interested in physio and uh, i used to before joining uh, the physiotherapy i used to see all the uh, videos and blogs of medical students uh, or any series in which they used to show dissection or, and all so when my classes started i was always curious like kab hoga dissection ka class kab hoga kab hoga anatomy ka class kab wo seekhne milega dead bodies kab dekhne milega then uh, the, even because practicals mein we have to touch dead bodies and we have to explain yes. so there was even the thought like oh जैसे कि खाते हैं सीरीज वगैरह में करके क्या समन फेंस आफ्टर स्मेलिंग दैट फॉर मलिन सो आई दैट थॉट वाज ऑलवेज इन माय माइंड लाइक या दैट थ्री क्लास फोर पीपल जस्ट फेंट ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ थ्री टू फोर पीपल जस्ट फेंटेड <laughs> yeah so that thought was always in my mind but still i was always curious like i have to learn and uh, there was always uh, one thing in me that uh, the inter like studies or anything i always used to uh, like i i am still interested to learn about the facts and in medical yes. uh, it everything is like facts yes so yeah so uh, my first year was like this because Six months I did offline classes, and then six months I did online. So I first of all it was a drastic change for me from twelve. Then I had to change again my studying pattern. Uh, like first in the offline mode, then I have to shift and uh, start uh, studying as of online. So even for the practicals, uh, there was like uh, for example in Annet. uh if uh, when it was offline we used to go in the dissection hall we used to touch the bones uh, or the muscles and then we used to study and theory it was like just simple from the book but when it was online then it started like hitting me like how should i actually study but uh, then i used to like uh, study from that online uh, uh, website or the software where uh, anatomy uh, is taught or uh, and uh, i used to draw in my uh, notebook all the bone like anterior part posterior part how it is hold so that's how how i did and then as it was online and offline i did well in exam great great so yeah. uh, if there are any first year students watching we are here for you guys so just ask shoot up shoot us up with your questions and we'll be answering that so let's discuss how we can help actually first year student ace their academics as ashish sir uh, i want to yes. say one thing before we go ahead as uh, yes. i and hina ma'am are from uh, gujarat like we are doing uh, our yes. studies she already completed her physio from gujarat and yes. still studying and you did uh, your uh, physiotherapy bachelor of physiotherapy from mp i MP. even have friends from maharashtra i have heard that due to difference in syllabus uh, and university hmm. pattern uh, the subjects are different so i would like to discuss about the following subjects in today's life that is anat physiology biochem then et electro then biomechanics which is also known as kinesiology then social yes. and psychology as we have audience from uh, many states and uh, uh, due to that change difference in the syllabus and patterns we would like to discuss about this and then uh, also uh, the following points in all the subjects like uh, which books to refer because yes. i get a lot of dms like uh, even bdc is the standard book but still students uh, are like asking uh, which is the easiest book even uh, other than bdc then uh, okay. uh, what is the actual importance of this subject hmm. uh, yes. then uh, how to study both theory and practical and uh, if uh, uh, like do we have to make notes or we can just study by underlining the textbook yes So let's take these questions one by one, Neha. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing is we need to talk about the subjects. So yeah. the subjects first years need to focus on the most is anatomy, because that will actually help you throughout your life, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So anatomy is utmost give anatomy utmost importance, but that doesn't mean you keep the other subjects sideline, right? 
each and every subject has its own importance like in my curriculum i had uh, anatomy physiology uh, biomechanical modalities bioelectrical modalities and uh, psychology and sociology okay yeah. so what i used to do is that i used to uh, study anatomy and physiology together these subjects go hand on hand in one subject you are studying the structure of the body and in another uh, subject you are studying how the structure functions mm. so if you read them together you get utmost understanding of the human body so mm-hmm. i advise most of the student is that uh, read anatomy and physiology together and try to correlate this subjects because you will get a lot of uh, common things in the, those subjects common there are a lot right? of chapters and questions both in anatomy and physiology physiology so uh, try to read the subjects together try to correlate them okay and uh, for that case uh, the good best book for anatomy is bd chorasia in according to me it has enough information and it has uh, yeah. the most uh, basic language which one can understand easily Mm-hmm. so i'd recommend bd chorasia for anatomy and k sambulingam book for the physiology the physiology i have okay. one question uh, like uh, in anet syllabus in first year we also have histology mm-hmm. and embryology as you yes. said like anet is very important uh, like for mm-hmm. physio uh, what about like histology and embryology we should study uh, uh, like by the perspective of mm-hmm. being in first year and passing the exam or uh, like it also helps uh, in our further years everything you read helps you in your future yeah, not yeah. Uh, instantly but at some point of time yeah, yeah. so if you uh, do your masters in gyne in the future then embryology will be of great importance true right yes and even uh, in third year and fourth year we study uh, gyne and uh, obstetric so it yes. will help you uh, in that subject so, also it's like uh, many students think that okay first and second volume upper limb lower limb is enough for us we don't uh, need head neck anatomy that is not uh, the way you see it because mm-hmm. head neck anatomy is equally important than upper limb and lower limb anatomy because if you do your specialization in neuro in the future or if you see a neuro case you need to know the head neck anatomy yeah for that case so you can't leave anything for that purpose that okay so uh like it, only this much is important in the physio that only this much in, is important in the physio yes you have to prioritize the topics according to the exam curriculum but you need to study each and everything you can't leave anything maybe you uh, don't mm-hmm. get enough time to uh, absorb that subject in uh, first year you can go back to it later on also uh can you guys tell me the easiest way uh, like how to revise anet because uh, it's like anet we have four volume in first yes. year being a first year student we feel like oh my god like char volume mein kaise khatam hoga ek saal mein kaise padhenge and even jo bacche pad bhi lete hain it's like we eventually forget yes so wo bar bar revise karne ke baad hi hum log ko yaad rahega but uh, koi aur bhi alag way hai jisse hum log yaad rakh sakte hain anet like uh, kina would you like to answer that uh, yeah uh, we used to do like uh, all kinds of muscles and bones we used to draw in our way for our personal notes and we just mark all that all those important points of that muscles of that bones of that organs which are important for us and which makes us to uh, learn like this way you be used to learn and डेफिनेटली वो हमारी नोट्स है तो हम लोग उसको फटाफट देख भी सकते हैं एनी टाइम बिफोर बिफोर एग्जाम इन दॉर्निंग ऑल्सो विद इन एन आवर एटलीस्ट वो हमारी नोट्स ही है तो हम उसे स्विच uh, कर सकते हैं इन अ स्पीडी वे लाइक वी यूज टू लाइक डू दिस बी डी इज नॉट इनफ के बी डी इज नॉट द बुक इन अ मॉर्निंग वेन यू वेक अप एंड यू जस्ट क्लिप द पेजेस ऑफ फोर वॉल्यूम्स तो या आपको खुद की नोट्स डेफिनेटली बनानी चाहिए यूजफुल टू टुडे आल्सो आई हैव माय ओन नोट्स ऑफ आज भी इफ एनी पेशेंट इज देयर एंड डेफिनेटली वी डोंट रिमेम्बर एवरीथिंग एट दिस पॉइंट so yeah we open our notes and we just flip our pages i don't have enough time to go and open mm-hmm. the torus yeah 
or i go for google like google doesn't give us the enough information so yeah, yeah for yes. uh, to make your own notes with the with diagrams because anatomy is the subject without diagrams you don't go like uh, mm-hmm. so thin you have to draw by yourself you have to mark what is the like yeah, interior part posterior part everything and mm-hmm. this makes uh, like the your notes which is in a short part so yeah i prefer making notes will work and you have to make that since the first day <laughs> then and then only you can cover up and in every uh, uh-huh. uh, sambulingam is such a huge book uh, you won't be able to finish like sambulingam by turning its pages uh, it takes mm-hmm. 10 minutes to find the chapter from the index itself <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i i will definitely suggest both in anatomy physiology you have to make notes like for sambulingam you can go for the down arrow points to make uh, so that uh, to make uh, that short not uh, or just such a short part so that you can revise it by yourself in a mm-hmm. deep way you can write but first of all you have to revise so yeah down arrow points you can go for sambulingam also then yeah for biomechanics also you have to make the diagrams and all then and then only you can remember that because first of all you have to draw you have to imagine uh, until and unless you won't be able to imagine you won't be able to learn and you won't be able to remember yes for this biomechanics and anatomy both both subjects are there because mm-hmm. that anatomy is what we are and biomechanics mm-hmm. is what we do in our entire life every time every second every minute we we do we perform biomechanics mm-hmm. in our basic life so yeah basically uh, i prefer like drawing diagrams and labeling that will make you remember uh, of your mm-hmm. own uh, it's not like ke mere friend ne notes banayi hai so i will get get it from there but no yeah. unless your pencil won't work on the paper mm-hmm. to remember that easily so even I, ashish for said same thing in la, his last life that uh, always make your own notes tabhi tumhe yaad rahega in the long term if you are referring someone else note you can't always rely on uh, his or her notes because you never know karke kya usko jo kya point important laga kya nahi laga then usne kya uh, chhod diya hai topic kya nahi choda hai so always make your own notes study uh, by your own and then you can either group or uh, discuss in the group yeah because when you draw it's really important uh, that that uh, makes your 50% of the work okay you are drawing <laughs> and you are uh, you are imagining it by yourself so i prefer labeling and drawing and for physiology Yeah guys I'm back again sorry there is some issue with the electricity here so no problem I needed to okay so yeah i was just saying right now that you in last live you said that always make your own notes so i was just yes. uh, saying like what you have said in your last live and yes. so in yeah Uh, yes, for ma'am. sambulingam to uh, no doubt they give they give such a nice content but uh, yes ma'am you are not audible to learn all that all those chapters so whenever mm-hmm. you start learning you should make notes so that uh, in finals you don't have to learn from the beginning of the chapter beginning yes. of chapter is for your knowledge it's not for that you have to write this in exam it's for your 11th and 12th revision uh, in sambulingam yes. so yes for physiology also you have to go for notes because that really really vast chapters they have uh, which we don't have to write everything in exam. so for that you can go narrow notes i will suggest that or yes. for charts and all that whatever makes you feel easy to learn Exactly. Like for physiology, I have read for two books in my first year. One is A K Jain, and the other one is Sambulinga. So yes. I felt like uh, there were some topics uh, in which, uh, a, a, like uh, in A K Jain, it was given in a better way and in the easiest uh, like language. And some I felt like Sambulinga is the best. Someone is asking: Is Basant Kumar Nanda book good for electrotherapy? It is the best book for electrotherapy in my opinion. Uh, yes. So there are some topics which are actually not covered in the Clayton, are covered in the Nanda. So one yeah. can actually refer to Basanta Kumar Nanda for uh, topics like laser therapy and different topics which are. 
for the modality uh, and how much dosage and all everything uh, they have written law and ring yeah that yes. that is good jag mohan is also there for electrotherapy yes mm mm-hmm. i have never gone for that nanda quite mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so ma'am can you tell us like uh, how to uh, study for practicals of anat and physio like how to approach yes so for practicals of anatomy you actually need a bone set with yourself okay mm-hmm. you need to actually buy a bone set for yourself and actually go through it or go through all the bones like details what are the different fossa mm-hmm. and what are the anatomical landmarks in different bones so you need to actually take the bone in the hand and you need to study that each and every bone that will make you ready for the practicals so you don't be you won't be confused that uh, what is the site determination of this bone mm-hmm. what is this structure and that structure you need to be uh, thorough with each and everything right so that way that is yeah. the best way practically you can do for anatomy mm-hmm. what about uh, physiology physiology focus uh, on the practicals during the lab mm-hmm. now uh, physiology uh-huh. so less practicals and we only used to perform mm-hmm. in lab only uh, you don't yes. like they are say also that you don't need to uh, perform at home all that mm-hmm. you can just learn yeah. lab only and yes. anat is a subject even after like studying in the lab we can come uh, yeah. back uh, in the room you... then we study about uh, uh, the bones and the muscles and the nerve supplies yes. true true now let's like, come to the yeah. yeah everything like yeah. Uh, we uh, in our college we demand so many times for the uh, like uh, uh, as uh, ashish said about like you can put that but about the muscles and organs we ask we ask over there many times to show us the organs so that we can yes. uh, we can uh, hand we can hand uh, hand it in proper way in a right way in a right position uh, and we can mm-hmm. organs are so different when you see uh, practice yeah. and when you see it on the internet in pictures they are so different yeah. yes practical and in videos so i would prefer that uh, practically also mm-hmm. you have to see those so organs lungs in the hand actually feel different than Uh, the lungs on the internet. Yeah, and I can totally relate to it because I studied both offline and online. No, when I saw the saw those huh? bones in my hand for the first time, I was like, "Oh, this is not so in pictures. This is so so <laughs> reality." Actually, yes. Heart and lungs. Lungs was I, I was seriously shocked by seeing lungs. Heart it was quite, uh, but lungs okay. so so I uh, I would better. Before that, so uh, see, by you now see. students must have understood that having keen interest in their subject makes them ace the first year. Yes, you should yeah. have interest in those subjects which you are studying right now. You can't be just like okay, just I have to pass this and I have to go through it. That won't help you. You need to be totally involved in the process. Well, ha! Huh, first two mm-hmm. months, you will definitely feel how I am going to cover up all this. This is so vast. Yes. I don't. So I want to left all this behind. But as as far as you will take interest, like uh, you will definitely uh, able to keep uh, keep. Yes, all yes. Things. Before going ahead, I have uh, one request for our audience or all the students who are watching. Please write your com- uh, questions in the question uh, section box. Uh, then writing yes. in the comment section as it is difficult to scroll and uh, read the question. It's better that you guys uh, drop down your question in the co- uh, question section box. So, so there yeah. is question Next. how to mm-hmm. remember all the nerves in practical. Yeah. So the best way to remember the nerves in the practical is reading their course in the B D C Chorasia. You need mm-hmm. to know from where the nerve is actually originating and where it is supplying to which muscle that nerve is supplying. So when you read the course, you actually come to know that this nerve is part of the this big nerve, and then you can remember each and everything. You can even draw the course of the nerve over your arms and forearms, whatever. Plus like. in dissection, when you see uh, <clears throat> yes. that nerve, then definitely you will be able to remember easily. Yes, the more you visualize, guys, the more you will remember. The, yeah. You should be able to visualize things, right? 
yes so if I you have, have a good question yeah yes 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 go uh, on i have one question uh, that even first year second year or any year students will relate uh, who wants to again start with the anat uh, especially when the it is the exam time like exactly from where to start because uh, students uh, who have not studied from starting of their year, year and they are starting uh, like started studying uh, like one month back they are like confused and then they procrastinate like chalu kahan se kare in and it is it like uh, you okay. have to start from module 1 or you can start from anywhere be it module 2 be it module 3 no you no. cannot start from anywhere you uh-huh. have to start from that chotu book general anatomy ki yeah yes okay so mm-hmm. that chotu book is very important to uh, clear all your basics that you need for to read other volumes mm-hmm. so you cannot proceed till you have com- completed that chotu book which is my favorite <laughs> so yeah. our our professor took almost two to three months to cover that chotu book. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's why my anatomy is very good now. That's so nice. So now let's uh, uh, like uh, talk about the other subject that is ET exercise therapy. Yes. So which so, books to refer, ma'am? well for exercise uh, there are so many books like they do have different contents uh, in them uh, with different with different different languages so i can guess for exercise you can go for any book uh, in whichever state you are having uh, but uh, i would recommend two books for exercise therapy one is rena gardener and other is kisner yeah yeah so, i guess so they, they both the books are the standard books for physio yeah b- yes. but uh, in first year i guess we won't be able to getting the language of the kisner uh, so yeah dina gardena yes. is quite easy dina gardena is having a so simple language yeah. okay first year students like uh, they generally don't able to keep up this all anatomical Cope words up. so yes. ha uh, so dina gardena dina is gardener having, is a such best a nice book and simple for language. yeah uh for me i studied uh, i still study from both of the books uh like dina gardena whatever topics uh, were there i had in first year and the topics in kishner i had in second year yeah because yeah. kishner is quite a uh, bit a complex so yeah. we need to study it in second year only kishner yes yeah but uh, once you get with the kishner then it's uh, full of knowledge yeah <laughs> and what about uh, the practical of et exercise therapy you actually uh, can learn a lot from performing it on your uh, colleagues in the uh-huh. college uh, fellow students uh, we, we learn from mm-hmm. learn from the in practical labs only uh, the yes. how much you see how that uh, in that way only you will be able to perform yes. so that i guess quite less helpful for practically for exercise therapy and what is the importance of uh, this subject exercise therapy <laughs> yeah most important subject in our entire it is one of the most <laughs> important subject in physiotherapy yeah. there is uh, no like it's not even a question yeah once i got that dm like saying uh, is exercise therapy all about exercise like which all types of exercise are then that, uh, which all to do at have- home in the entire career <laughs> <laughs> yeah but still exercise in exercise therapy or uh, it is more other than just exercise i feel so because there also the topic mobilization and yeah. other uh, else. yes it is actually important because in first year no. therapy is clearing your base so that in second yeah. you will be able to perform such exercises if you want the perception any base the perception of that student is actually not correct that exercise therapy is all about <laughs> exercise it has exercise <laughs> physiology in it it has different yeah. techniques in yeah. it and so, the, yeah and those principle which we studied in first year that <laughs> that only we will gonna apply in, the, in our second year all topics and all other more exercises yes yes the, So for that, in first year, exercise therapy is so much important. Even yes, while yes. giving the exercises, the lever is important. Short uh, arm, long arm, long yeah. lever. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. In class, actually, uh, in second year, uh, our faculty is used to say this word like uh, which which is short lever arm, which is long lever arm. They yeah. 
if you didn't study that part how could you mm-hmm. be able to understand in second year yeah Uh, 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 do you remember you studied back in first year if uh, nobody answers na they simply has to didn't uh, didn't you read in first year and liver is the utmost favorite question yes and it is the first topic in dina gardener yeah. it's just for and, liver and that's the first question in the exam about the liver only so yeah uh, in first year exercise therapy is quite hmm. uh, important for your second year and for your entire physiotherapy career yeah even uh, yes. pallavi ma'am is saying basic of everything is exercise therapy all those yeah. things, uh, and uh, all kind of balance and all they have given uh, so yeah that is important because in yes. second uh, they are not uh, giving the introduction of that balance word and all they just use mm-hmm. that word so if you don't yes. meaning of that word how could you uh, learn further for the new topics yeah yes. so guys you know how much time travel I guess so. Sir is having some network issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's get on the uh, next subject. That is electrotherapy. Which books to refer, and uh, what is the subject about? Importance of the subject and how to approach for it. Uh, yeah. Basically, electrotherapy in our time, uh, our faculties used to take in our in our clinic only to show all yeah. those modalities. Uh, they mm-hmm. simply uh, show us all those modalities, like uh, or they show us these parts. Like SWD ultrasound. Well, uh, yeah. SWD is the most uh, favorite electrotherapy. Uh, <laughs> first, that topic is always begin the first SWD is only. So yeah, they, they show us all the contraindications, indications, uses of that uh, ther- uh, that uh, electro machine. Then uh, this way mm-hmm. we learn yes. like uh, going from one to one machines like uh, SWD ultrasound, then IFT. Uh, so basically, we learn in a practical way. Uh, yes then we went- and uh, what we used to do in practicals that we used to apply it on the one of the students machine yeah. over the one of the students <laughs> yeah and the we, first time the we, tense was applied on me i was horrified like uh, <laughs> electricals like es es is the most dangerous i guess <laughs> you are new you don't know how much intensity you have to increase and like it was yeah we, and we those on- happened those uh, those things happened with some of the students that intensity was increased to full at once even this has happened in my uh, lab session like everyone is practicing and on my plane suddenly uh, whoever is handling the machine increases and the person on whose that electrode is he is like uh, like shouting suddenly like ah! and everyone is looking in the class like what happened what happened is he fine did, the, did he paint or what So Hina must have experienced this. Uh, her reaction she is saying. No, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't experience. I used to increase the in, intensity. <laughs> when I, uh, how when many I, equipment you have spoiled while practicing? <laughs> I actually intentionally increase the intensity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Let's uh, come back to the questions now. Well. Uh, Uh, physio trend uh, prem sir is asking how many equipments you have spoiled while practicing well frankly i never spoiled any never else. never never <laughs> we just do that <laughs> when we i never did or twice <laughs> but we never spoiled any equipment never spoiled anything <laughs> okay. yeah and prem sir used to teach you he na ma'am right <laughs> college ke paise vasool karne log karte hain <laughs> For sure, I should try once. If uh, none of my faculty is watching this live right now, <laughs> you will be in big trouble if someone is watching Neha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said if someone is not watching, then yeah, okay, the culprit is over here. So I was yes. saying that this live uh, like brought back memories like seven years back for me. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that's Because so it, nice. Yeah, and I'm. so having so much fun speaking about the first year right now it brings yeah. back so many memories uh, for me it been four years it seems like i have been there in my first year class like it seems to be of yesterday only so <laughs> let's take take... just four years back <laughs> <laughs> i'm still studying the same things in my clinicals 
Yeah, we were talking you? about the electrotherapy subject yes. right now. So, okay. like, uh, which all the books uh, you would suggest for electrotherapy? Because uh, I have studied from like three or four different books. Okay, so I would suggest Clayton, uh, yeah. Basanta Kumar Nanda, uh, Jag Mohan, and Lauren Reed. These four books. Yeah, yeah. Nandi. But uh, Clayton and Nanda are the most standard for the first year. So, for first years, Clayton and Nanda is enough. Yeah, I guess oh. Nanda. You will further also. You will uh, need that require of all that doses and all thing. Yes. Uh, you will definitely need Nanda. Can we the- complete studying okay. total syllabus in one month? No, man. You can't. <laughs> But you can pass by doing like important questions. I feel yeah. so. In just important questions, and that too, at least of like a uh, eight to ten years paper. Yes, but uh, uh, you should be sincere in your first year. Yeah, and uh, because knowledge is important, because the subjects which we have in first year that really helps in like second year, third year, and in physiotherapy career. Prem sir is saying, Vanilla, can you finish eating whole year food in one month? <laughs> <laughs> This life is going so much funny than I, ex- I expected. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then uh, one uh, thing I want to address. Uh, this thing uh, I used to face uh, in electrotherapy subject, as uh, yes. everything is about electrotherapy modalities, mm-hmm. and we have to remember about the intensity and all. So I used to forget, or at the times I used to get confused in my second year. But as uh, exam used to go, and I used to learn or revise again and again as I came in third year. Now no more I get confused. So I would just say like it happens. Hmm. Yes. But uh, intensity is also uh, is the important or the most important thing while using electrotherapy. Yeah. Not only intensity, you need to uh, know yeah, the precautions, the contraindications. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. 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 अच्छा पेन आए तो टेंस लगा दे क्या नहीं इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट बाबा सो नेक्स्ट सब्जेक्ट इज बायोमेकैनिक्स एंड कैनेशियोलॉजी आई विल स्पीक ऑन दैट या एंड वन मोर थिंग बिफोर यू स्टार्ट आई हैव हर्ड दैट इन महाराष्ट्र इवन फॉर बायोमेक एंड कैनेशियोलॉजी दे टेक प्रैक्टिकल्स वेयर एज इन आई एम स्टडीइंग फ्रॉम गुजरात बट आई नेवर हैड एनी प्रैक्टिकल फॉर बायोमेकैन कैनेशियोलॉजी इट्स जस्ट दैट नो ओनली गेट एंड ऑल वी यूज्ड टू गेट प्रैक्टिकल एक्चुअली इट्स दैट की बायोमेकैनिक प्रैक्टिकल रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेंसिव इक्विपमेंट्स सो इन एसवी नेतार दे हैव द गेट लैब माय फ्रेंड टोल्ड मी सो दैट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव स्टफ सो नॉट एवरी कॉलेज कैन अफोर्ड टू ब्रिंग दैट so some college have practical some don't have but uh, in my opinion that biomechanics should not be in the first year in the first place we used mm-hmm. to have in first year yes but it should not be because to study biomechanics actually in a good way one needs to clear the anatomy basics first yeah. you can't study anatomy and biomechanics hand in hand that is very difficult <coughs> students are already coping up with the anatomy and then they are studying biomechanics so it becomes real difficult because as i said in my last life that anatomy is the language of biomechanics yeah so if you don't understand the anatomy first how are you going to understand the mechanics of that joint mm-hmm. no we we used to study twice actually it was so tough for us to like first uh, first new new it was like for biomechanics special yeah whole mechanism you have to imagine how it is working so how- first you need to remember all the ligaments and all the whole anatomy for example if you are studying biomechanics of shoulder joint you should be uh, you should have all cleared all the anatomy of the shoulder you can't miss anything in that so it's b- better it should be in the further years i don't understand this curriculum in some state that they put biomechanics in first year yeah. i used to have it in my i used to have it in my third year so that way my it was college, easy yeah. for me my college did one good thing uh, for biomech and kinesiology subject that they divided into two parts yeah. uh, the yes. first and the basic part i had in my first year and the other part i had in my second year yeah so see. if you guys are having biomechanics in the first year so if you have to cope up with it you have to 
read the anatomy mm-hmm. first and then jump to biomechanics don't jump on the biomechanics right away that will not help you guys yeah so yeah prem sir is saying who can you can understand if you have faculties who can explain it lively yeah he definitely <laughs> showed us practically he used to he makes us study biomechanics about gate and on so yeah we were lucky to ha- having him for bio yes uh yeah, and yeah it, it is quite good actually basics bio, basic of biomechanics in our college also it was divided basics uh, it was mm-hmm. in first year mm-hmm. and uh, when things get complicated all that part was mm-hmm. in second and year. also in so biomechanics the first three chapters of the norkins are really important before starting hopping to the joints so first three chapters of the norkin has to be uh, cleared before jumping on to different joints and gate, biomechanics of gate and everything because mm-hmm. that forms the basis of the whole subject that three chapters you should yeah. know what is osteokinematics what is arthrokinematics yeah right yeah uh, so now we uh, go ahead and uh, the next subject is uh, biochemistry biochemistry <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> so, I was I was like my first <laughs> now I used now, to think in my first year that this subject is not going to help in future and uh, this go- subject is not going to come and after attending that uh, uh, that mind map for masters and that time when I got to know that the biochem also like few questions going to come and each and every subject is important for masters exam and then uh, that time I was like oh okay and uh, you know biochemistry like some students have started crying in the corner already actually because <laughs> i didn't like the chemistry in my 11th and 12th how am i going to study in first year but i'll give you some amazing tips to cope up with this subject so yes, what please. you need is to that you just need to go back into your 11th standard and 12th standard this, curriculum of biology yes. Yes, exactly. That's how I studied uh, by thinking. Uh, because whenever I used to see uh, the uh, topic or the chapter's name, I felt like it's the same as of eleventh and twelfth. Though I didn't study well, uh, like organic and inorganic, because I hated. But still, I felt that all the cycles are the same as it was I, in my eleventh and twelfth. I actually googled about my twelfth standard <laughs> because I didn't remember anything. So it's like Krebs cycle is there. You have already no. studied that. Yeah. Uh, glycolysis. You have already studied no. that. Go back. How am I going to write in this first year? Yeah. Seriously. Uh, all <laughs> all are hailing for Hina. Hina is star of today's live. Everyone is saying in the comments. <laughs> Hina, you nailed it today. Yeah. yeah. Bio chemistry. I seriously hated bio chemistry. Uh, other all subjects. To- Uh, I did well, but I hate bio. Hello, my mom is saying I was the topper of biochemistry. <laughs> well, I, 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 I know Hello, my mom was the uh, topper of a class. She used to score distinction, as far as I know. So yeah, you uh, you will actually actually you have studied all that, but you know your mind is not accepting that you have studied all that already because yeah. you don't want to go through that process. Is excruciating. <laughs> So basically, it's just your laziness that you are not giving enough attention to biomechanics. Mm-hmm. It's a really easy and fun subject if you like go through it. Yeah, eleven twelve में तो पढ़ा था. अब आप इस इधर आके पढ़ना है. Yes, yes. Uh, but I uh, I can't uh, accept that it is a fun huh? subject because uh, you have to because I felt that biochemistry is a mugging up subject and I have to mug up again and again, again and again. Seriously, it's I not a mugging up subject. It's not uh, a mugging up subject, Nia. I mugged up. I mugged up all these cycles because I was like in eleven, twelve. I already did. I don't want to study again each and everything. And as I said, I felt in first year, being a first year student, I felt like biochemistry. What is the importance of biochemistry? And there was no one to tell like, oh, in a master's exam or any time in future. So not only it will master's work. exam. You know the scope of physiotherapy is so wide. You don't even know. Mm-hmm. So when, yeah. when which subject will be of your importance, you can't uh, analyze that. Yes. La- in last live about biomechanics, I was talking about biomechanics in space. So you mm-hmm. can understand what is the scope of physiotherapy. Oh. Yeah. It's too much wide uh, than we all think of it is. Mm-hmm. An actual teacher can't properly college uh, say learn by itself. Yeah. So this is the problem with some of the colleges. that teachers mm-hmm. say that uh, learn by yourself so 
my advice is that uh, that today there are a lot of uh, things available on the internet so if you want to learn something go to youtube go to google uh, there is a app called physiopedia which will give you enough information hmm. so yeah. if if you can't get help of a teacher get help of the internet it's simple but don't completely rely on google yeah no uh, you can even go for youtube lectures or everything yes it's available so and in youtube also uh, like uh, they are explaining in every language hindi gujarati everything so you yeah. east or west hina is the best <laughs> hina mam <ma> rocks <laughs> like hina has totally like nailed it today star of today's life star of today's life hina well, uh, i am seriously imagining my first year <laughs> how i used to study actually I actually to first speaking this live i don't have to put much effort because it's all like done and dusted so what is the limited i am like saying something because i have passed that phase yeah and you know once you get back there na it was all fun and games actually yeah uh, being in that time it feels like oh it is so much it is so much and as uh, time passes it's like oh it, it was so less why was i stressing yeah so you know i was telling that uh, i was thinking that i could barely even make it but mm-hmm. what did i ended up doing yeah actually <laughs> whenever i used to see bones i was like har ek bone ka alag shape hai like and i was like how am i going to study all this mm-hmm. seriously yeah. at uh, that period it was kind and of you know the look the examiner gave when you pick up patella in the Uh, practical for us okay with the look of the examiner i remembered something uh, yeah. my roll number is 102 in the class and uh, he asked Hattari i guess roll number 100 <laughs> i don't know what does that mean yeah uh, so uh, they said uh, they asked literally the first question was like what is your name i said like my name is neha and then the examiner was like what is meaning of your name and in my mind i'm thinking like Today is anatomy exam, and you are asking me my how, name. How? How is that like, even relevant? Yeah, yeah. I'm here stressed just so much, and you are asking me the name. Of, I was like, okay, my name means this, and then he was like, okay, uh, pick one, uh, this one. I was like, sir, can I pick this one? And at least I'm happy that he w- said to me, okay, you can. <laughs> you pick patella. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I, I play the thought- clavicle. I too got that choice. I, I picked humerus. Like uh, it was my favorite bone. I guess it was <laughs> simple to learn. Ah, uh, so my favorite one also was humerus, Sina. Yeah. Because I am a very humerus person. Uh, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> so, uh, like you can uh, like it's all fun and games, guys. First year is not something to stress about. You just need to focus, guys. Yeah. And yeah. you can. A said it like smooth, smooth like butter. Next uh, subject is sociology and psychology. Ah, I felt that this is the most easier subject. I never studied in my room. I just used to focus on the class because they used to say all about like people, yeah. then uh, what goes in the environment, uh, the psychology of a patient. So it is the most important subject. as a physiotherapist yeah. uh, we because used to say what is the important of this subject but uh, yeah. as soon as we learn about that subject we realize that it is so important in our practical life when you treat patient so yes. yeah it is actually easy but it is also most important at that time also how you guys cope up with the revision a day before exam oh. <laughs> i used to solve question papers to be honest I used to study from my notes. Yeah, yes. same. I study from my notes because I... sir, uh, we were so scared when we entered in class. Like subject was so huge, we always used to make notes. Uh, and yes. And teachers also told us like, go for notes, go for notes. You will definitely remember from them only. Books are so huge, you won't be able to cover up everything. So yeah, yes, we definitely. Were... Yeah, Pallavi ma'am is saying I always used to get neuro-related things in my anatomy, either skull in bones and then a uh, brain in organs. So I guess it was always neuro. Yeah, you were destined to be there, neuro ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone is saying pathology and pharma is too difficult. How to study? 
patho and pharma is usually the subject in second year yeah. we might keep a separate session yes. for second year students also soon okay soon soon we will and he now has to be there now <laughs> because <laughs> yeah we'll start memorizing our second year <laughs> because popularity level of hina rose from this to this today <laughs> yeah so today we discussed about like uh, all the subjects anatomy physio biochemistry et electro then biomechanics and socio psycho uh, yes. if anybody who is watching this live right now if you guys have any questions do let us know right in the comment section box uh, or uh, in the question section or section Neha, box does anyone want to join us for this live session uh, is anyone uh, requested no, no one has uh, sent request uh, till now if anyone so guys, wants to join Uh, just If, let us know yes you can join you can put up your view points yeah, from whichever uh, year you I are yes someone is asking can you name the question papers well probably in our college uh, we revised our colleges like previous years question paper so there is no mm -hmm. like i don't think so there is any particular question paper outside over there but we used to revise our university actually system. every university has their own question paper circulating among themselves yeah. just a minute uh, sir i would like sahil israni to join if he is uh, available right now because he has uh, got distinction in his first year oh okay nice. nice we'd uh, love Sahil, you to join uh, just send me the request if you can join right now or if anybody wants to join right now and literally wants to discuss so people are asking about question bank so there is no such question bank as such yeah. but you can uh, always refer to we old go through the syllabus when then we ask for yeah. the important questions uh, hmm. that's how we covered up and the previous and, uh, in the university exam that's all uh, nothing uh, the previous yeah. question papers are always available in your college library or you can uh -huh. else ask the seniors they will help yeah. you with the previous year's question or paper like in our university they guys are having uh, the app over there we used to log in and we mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get those papers even i used to get all uh -huh. the question papers even on my youtube right now i have posted like important topics uh, from my college hmm. last 9 to 10 year uh, of papers pallavi ma'am wants to join please please uh, come pallavi ma'am kindly send me the request so that i can accept it's okay sahil we will join you later in some other live pallavi ma'am will have so much time travel back today like i had today <laughs> and yeah. i would love to speak to her right now if she can join uh pallavi ma'am kindly send me the request uh and really guys i had so much fun in the live session it was such a fun live session i have ever had uh, yeah and uh, i guess someone is asking i am weak in physics chemistry can i uh, do bpt but my biology is very good yeah you can definitely go even i was yeah. in physics chemistry sahil is saying yeah, i was <laughs> excited to see ashish sir and hina ma'am <laughs> yes he is from maharashtra yeah okay uh, i haven't got to the request yet from uh, palave ma'am so maybe like there might be some maybe she was she was joking actually i guess <laughs> yeah maybe any first year student or any year student who wants to join uh, do let me know yes i got the request from palave ma'am now she was okay great 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 <laughs> i am excited now i am excited <laughs> it is showing like only three guests are allowed i don't know why right now oh, no, yeah no. she hey yes. pallavi ma'am hello <laughs> okay so i just wanted to come live just to you know praise hina <laughs> hina you are the star of this live today <laughs> yeah thank you ma'am <laughs> i want to what, see this in the previous live sessions uh, yeah it's just what were, i experienced when you go at my time i just said that only <laughs> nobody you guys are really you know really talking uh, very logically yes i did have a lot of time travel because <laughs> my first year was in 2007 yeah and yeah. we are in 2022 oh, so, now yeah so see i mean so like so much time travel today but yeah you guys really put up the what you say a uh, very very logical points to ace the first year or you know to gain much uh, but i i have one question for all of you why you guys are not talking about gaitan 
ियर फॉर दैट I seriously used to make notes. <laughs> when you guys are when you guys are talking about A K J and all of that, I am thinking like, really? I mean, I have never read this book ever in my life. A K J is basically me, for a book uh, like physiology book for B D S students. It is just said uh, to also refer or you can refer A K J because in that uh, it is given like all topic wise. Just like Hina Ma'am said, like uh, in Sembu, it is so vast. You have to literally search the topic like where it is. No, but so, I, yeah. but but I I just want to say that you know uh, mm-hmm. now you guys are like she is in third year and you guys are graduated, right? So yes. you guys must read Gaitan. Because mm-hmm. now you will understand Gaitan. Okay. Suppose if you had the difficulty in first year to understand, you guys must read Gaitan because physiology is the basis of lots of things, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And But Pallavi Ma'am, is important. I must admit that out of all our live session, this was the live session I enjoyed speaking uh, most <laughs> about it. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. And, and that is the reason we decided to put you guys for this topic because. <laughs> you know it was it was so uh, like you guys are freshly you know into the uh, yes. what you say academic and first year and second year and all of that so for me it's like 2007 it's way long back but i definitely do remember lots of things and i just want to say that we i was fortunate enough that we had actually done a dissection yes you know so for 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 in our college uh, the first 3 weeks uh we used we have only you know we were just sitting uh with the dead body in the middle and you know we are just sitting surrounding that dead body taking the smell of the formalin yes. and Maharaj just get you to has this thing in their uh, curriculum that uh, whenever uh, a medical student gets admitted they have to sit for a few weeks beside the uh, cadaver It's a and we used to and, and, and Ashish uh, said we used to read the chota general yeah, anatomy general book, yes. looking at that dead body, looking at the cadaver. We used to you know only read the general anatomy and then started the dissection. So you know we yes. have हमने actually छन्नी हाथोड़े से skull तोड़ा है और फिर हमने you know brain बाहर निकाला है and we have actually done that. You know हमने सारे organs निकाले हैं. You were destined to be in neuro. You are destined. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess, always get. I guess, uh, at uh, when you hand over that brain, uh, at that time only uh, you got interested in new. I was fascinated <laughs> because because when when <laughs> when that uh, that practical came, I mean when that lecture came, I was the one who had actually you know done that chhanni hathode se humne actually toda hai skull, you know, and we had a we had amazing professors for anatomy. जिन्होंने हमें वो सब पूरा तोड़ के हमने ब्रेन बाहर निकाला एंड लकीली हमारा जो कैडेवर था वो एक डोनेटेड बॉडी थी सो ही वॉज अ डॉक्टर एंड वो एक डोनेटेड बॉडी थी सो उसका ब्रेन ब्यूटीफुल था विथ लॉर्ड्स ऑफ सेल्का एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ सेल्का एंड एंड वी एक्चुअली स्टडीड इट यू नो थरली एंड आई थिंक मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन यूरो मे बी Yes, <laughs> but but you know, I I just wanted to gate crash this live only to praise Hina because you are outstanding today, <laughs> and I want the same to yeah. come whenever you will be live in the you know in the future. Please make sure that you give the same you know amount of dedication like how you are talking today with so much of confidence. Bring my entire the next thing. live along with you. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess we should keep next live uh, for the year for people who passed in the COVID uh, COVID mm-hmm. period between the <laughs> online exams and all. 
uh, there will be definitely lots of the questions so i cannot imagine people office. have studied anatomy online online for me yeah it's oh, no. to that i have done like online and offline both being for me basically is... over that place uh, it was so tough for us to cope up with anatomy uh, online you guys whoever did study i don't understand how uh, you get that no. serious like whatever you whatever uh, youtube channel you follow yeah. unless and until you take some, the book in hand you some, take yeah. the organ in hand you are not going to understand anything about that organ when you yes. feel this dusting holding a spleen, spleen or holding a lung or a liver yeah, yeah. then you have to understand the organ or you know in detail yeah but you know we all are evolving because of the difficult situation so it's okay uh, whoever must have not got a good practical uh, exposure because of the covid these two years you will eventually anyways get it so it's okay yes. you will be disappointed yeah. uh with these whatever difficult times we are facing eventually everybody will learn you know yeah. all these whatever yeah. things you are moving out practically especially for neha because she is still studying yeah definitely so it's okay anyways i think i'll just take uh, you know leave from this live you guys can continue with whatever remaining questions you guys have yeah. Mm-hmm. but yeah and for for biochem please don't say that it's a boring subject or it's <laughs> <laughs> this subject or that subject i was a topper of biochem and i really st- i really enjoyed biochem it is the basis of your human body okay like how yes. it functions yeah yeah, yeah. It, it 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 felt boring because it feel like we have studied this in 11 12 then again over here again same thing so <laughs> no, then then what you should do no you should combine physiology and biochem study together so actually you, you read certain things from physiology and related to biochem correlating biochem is a process is a very important thing when you study correlating different subjects so you i used to at least do that that i used to study physio and biochem together so i can understand biochem then and yeah. then you start in your room and you know stick and then just every day go and see the krebs cycle go and see the you know glycolysis and everything so it, it becomes mm-hmm. easy then to understand yes and for anatomy to ace anatomy group studies are the best actually if you are going to study everything yeah. in group uh, mm-hmm. you know understanding yes. the 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 anatomical landmarks it becomes easy Because and you know it- weird mnemonics always come in a group study Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get points in group like uh, if I if I forgot that point, then someone will cover up that this way. Uh, for anatomy, it's good for. My, I remember my room used to be the hub of uh, anatomy studies because I used to uh, study with my or like whole of my batch for mainly for bones, and that time also I still remember like. so clearly that the base of the skull is the most difficult bone right to yes. remember the foramen and this and that yeah. and yes. the structure coming out of foramen so i used to you know be interested so much in the base of the skull that i used to teach that base of the skull to all my batchmates mm-hmm. i think again a neuro point there because i was so yeah. much interested there for I that particular week in physics chemistry can i do bpt codes but my biology is very very good you can do oh, bpt yeah, yes i was in physics and chemistry mm. i did physics you will eventually get good at it when you study the subjects which have yeah. physics and chemistry in them so you can opt for bpt it's a beautiful field you should definitely come to this wonderland pallavi ma'am your ug college Ma, uh, who is this okay my ug and pg college is pravra medical college that's at loni maharashtra uh and uh, near shirdi if you guys know shirdi yes so yeah i know i can understand the situation of every first year student because uh, when i have been through it so like every first year student is like what wonderland Pre-listing i have come no ma'am ki jay no no i i will just take the you know I, i'll take you leave you guys can continue i it only really want to buy, i nice. only want to dash it for uh, hina because you are outstanding today i just want to come yeah, i think was praise her because i have seen these two people talking in front of the camera and you know being there and we have uh, our lives also together 
but hina you were very good today and you must come live and talk about your experiences well, I guess and, and second person i want to second person i want to brag in is harsh because harsh is also again you know a little laid back when it comes to live but i really want harsh also to you know uh, like how hina is like doing yeah. Killing Outstanding. It, killing Pallavi it. Pallavi ma'am. Pallavi ma'am. There okay. is one uh, uh, thing which came in com- uh, question section box. I really want you to give the reaction and answer to that. Like uh, okay. the question is, can we skip few things in BDC since it is a MBBS student book? Sometimes teachers really do skip it. First of all, I would say that it is not a MBBS student book. It is a medical student book, and you have to study it's no matter if it is a physics student. It's an important textbook in BDC. Yeah. It's a very important textbook, and I remember we used to have a separate. Uh, I don't remember the name of the book. We used to have a separate textbook for dissection. Mm-hmm. Dissection, dissection, whatever you call it. I don't remember that. They, that used to come in three volumes again, uh, and we used to study that uh, before doing the dissection procedure, and then that uh, he- that book also helped actually. Uh, I I don't remember the name of the book. Maybe I'll just you know go and I'll check my uh, cupboard again because I'm not really remembering the name. but uh, that particular book was a handbook kind of a thing like like a practical handbook for dissection and that we used to study uh, a lot along with bdc yes. but you you see you cannot skip now let me BDC. ask you one uh, yeah question that have you guys kept your first year books or have you guys give, given it to junior I or have kept it. I, don't know, I do have i've kept it with me only even I me cannot. i have kept it Cannot yeah. hand over it to anyone. Anyone. Now, yeah, what would you suggest for first year mm-hmm. students? Like uh, junior, ko de do, rati wale ko de do, or you no, should no. keep your books with you. Actually, being intern, uh, I still today need my B D Chaurasia. Actually, I I, need... I needed B D Chaurasia for my M P T preparation. I needed all the physiology and what about biochem? Then uh, every book. No, yeah, every book. I every book is important. You need to keep every book, especially the BDC, uh, Clayton's, yeah. uh, Dina Gardena, yeah, Akshna, uh, and all. Yeah, Clayton you is, have to keep it. Uh, you know what? Actually, you will need Clayton uh, by, while doing internship. Actually, because uh, yes, we we have gone through Clayton in our first year, second hmm. year, but during hmm. internship when you use electrotherapy, you need all those doses for the uh, dosage and frequency. Yes, actually, you need each and every book. And uh, also, uh, someone if they try to, uh, they think that they know everything about electrotherapy during internship. They will know that how much actually they know about it. They know nothing. No, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we feel so blank that oh, uh, ah. have... electrotherapy <laughs> is so vast subject. Uh, still blank. Sometimes it actually it actually feels so so. Yes. Each or else, and we need clear. And. You will end up saying you know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> you are very confident until you go in like uh, for viva in front of examiner. You are very confident as if you know everything until and unless you go for viva in front of examiner. You stand. Yes. No, uh, Prems are used to take our hmm. final examinations. Viva. Oh. Because like, how am how am I gonna speak in front of him? Like seriously. uh he taught us this biomechanics and all stuff uh and he is good in ortho like i was like how am i going to perform a, perform exercise in front of him like he like he knows everything of ortho and i am here who who just know only a glass water only this much i know uh, yeah seriously it feels, it feels mm. that only uh, like every bpd first year student thinks that can we skip to the good part but good. Uh, actually this is the good part Enjoy yeah, it, guys. Yeah, yeah. They feel yeah. uh, completing viva is the good part, uh, but no, performing and being in viva is the actually good part. Yes, mm-hmm. viva has so many memories attached to it itself. Yeah, that's true. We can. For example, we... mine. What is your name? What is meaning of your? Name? No, uh, in viva mostly we used to go uh, to two people like uh, uh, two. Mm-hmm. Rooms. Let's go inside together. Like one, yeah. one, one will be model and other will perform. 
I have literally yeah. seen people coming crying from anatomy practicals, uh, coming out crying from anatomy practicals. I don't know why. I don't understand why it's so fun and games actually. Like pick a bone, tell it, tell about. Uh, in in our anatomy, Vaiva, uh, they use they kept all the organs in two trays. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So fa- the the that fa- outer faculty will uh, ask you to pick up the lung, and actually two two three people will actually see oh am I which organ am I gonna pick? Uh, is this lung? <laughs> is this spleen? Uh, this this all kind of situations were over there in our class also. Mm-hmm. And actually, few uh, uh, after few years, you'll uh, go back to this and laugh at these memories. And so please, yeah. guys, enjoy and- these times. Yeah. in confusion will be uh, did i uh, like faculty will tell you pick up the uh, left kidney and you will be like which is left one and which is right one so uh, there is a bit lot of confusions uh, that's what so i so for need. that you need to study identification basically yeah. side identification is important for that mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, and uh, that organ and actually i is my first year if i say is that i am a very funny guy you know so <laughs> i used to uh, make everything funny make anatomy funny physiology funny like make funny mnemonics like we yeah. used to make this weird mnemonics for uh, uh, remembering the branches of coronary artery like sailor ao lakdi phaila aur piche se mar jao something like very weird one can't even relate to but it uh, helped me remember things so like if you keep things funny and light you will end up actually getting good uh, in that subject yeah i uh, i used to study with my and we both used to study together each and every subject since yes. uh yeah it was lot of fun studying together also sharing our own thoughts Oh, so Neha, do we have any more questions, or we need to wrap up because if we get to talking more, yeah, then this live is never, with... yeah, never ending. This and Hina is so like, I just told me, I will say. Hina is like, today I need to talk. Well, for... yeah, we do have uh, more topics like for second year, for third year. Yes. But second year also, I will speak. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would. You I love your sure. viewpoints. I love your viewpoints, Hina. Yeah, she mm-hmm. really said very well. Like it will help her for first year students, even to me. I would have yeah. to revise each and everything. For second year life, me and Maya and the both uh, will be together as we studied together in the entire BPT journey. So I guess yeah, Maya will be there with us. So it will be more yes. fun. So we will plan soon for that also. Second year life, we will be there. Yeah. So now we have to end this live. uh thanks everyone for joining and it was really fun session today i yes, really enjoyed it thank you ma'am thank you so for giving all your insights uh do you have anything to say uh, before leaving this live session yes i have one thing to friends. say yeah. for first year students uh, i have given the same message in prem sir's live once that <laughs> please guys discuss more among each other don't just keep your knowledge to yourself as you spread more knowledge the knowledge will increase so just have yeah. discussions among yourself that will only end up increasing your knowledge and will give you edge in your first year so discuss among your uh, batchmates that will really help you guys actually yeah and what yeah. Uh, what is the what hina has to say before uh, leaving uh, yeah i will ask i actually agree with ashish uh, plus uh, i will say one word, one thing only uh, don't be scared i was but don't be Uh, in the end, you will definitely get. <laughs> you will definitely get your first year, or you will definitely uh, crack all, all your MP, uh, BPT. So yeah, study every day. That will. If there is any problem, then Hina Ma'am will definitely DM me. And you can also DM me. 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 so okay. now i end this live i will save this live session the most important thing <laughs> yeah 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 so bye guys do take care bye sir bye ma'am bye 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 bye, bye. bye everyone